In some states, young snowmobilers are required to take a safety course before driving. Not that it wouldn't help us older folks as well, because, well, among other things, new snowmobilers often stick a foot out on turns, and that's dangerous. So remember, keep both feet on the sled at all times. Snowmobiling is really a great sport. But there are a lot of other people who enjoy the outdoors too. And showing others courtesy and respect really helps our sport. It seems like some people never learn that the fastest way to have an accident or get an area closed to snowmobiles is to figure that anything in front of you is your own personal four-lane highway. You know, you can always recognize a good snowmobiler. How? By the way he respects the private property of others. That's how. And around private property, there's usually a fence or two. Of course, our old friend, unsafe face, he never let a little thing like a fence slow him down. Do -dee, do -dum -ba -dee -dee, da da do do ro ba ba Oh, you dumb sign right in the middle. <laughs> One of the great things about the snowmobile is that it allows a sportsman to continue his summer fun right into the winter. But one place a lot of snowmobilers like, those flat, inviting, frozen lakes, it can be dangerous. And like our friend Unsafe Ace, some folks think their snowmobiles come with a guarantee against thin ice. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here for just a minute. Be careful, that's a wildlife area up there. Hey, it's Bruce Mullet! Seems one big reason snowmobiles are so popular is they allow us to get away from it all and really see nature the way most people never get a chance to. But that means we all have a great big responsibility too, especially to protect animal life and leave nature just the way we found it. And because our machines take us deep into the woods, we've got a special responsibility to protect plant life too, so that the forest will always be there and continue to grow. We all have a right to enjoy nature, but no one has a right to destroy it.
Well, our friends have put out the fire, cleaned up camp, and we're off again, so let's go. Sometimes a small hill gets to be so much fun, you forget about what's on the other side. It's a good idea to look first, because jumping can get you into trouble. When it gets to be the time of day when a good cup of hot coffee and a warm fire sound mighty inviting, leave a little more room between your machines. And, and if your lights aren't already on, better turn them on. You know, just to be on the safe side. It sure is nice to get back home after a long day of fun and excitement out on the trail. You know, old unsafe Ace was really kind of a nice fella. Seems a real shame he never got the idea that snowmobiles and safety just go together. Kind of makes you wonder what happened to him, though, huh? Dum, 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 pretty darn dumb. Oh, I guess we'll never know. But maybe we remember some of the things he did and a lot of the things he didn't do. Well, you and I will be a lot safer snowmobilers. Wish we had cameras. Right, right. Larry, what did you think of that back trail this morning? Wasn't that great? Oh, that's the best I've ever seen it. And snow's good, too. It sure has been a great day. And about the best way to end it is a crackling fire memories of a safe day of snowmobiling and, oh, maybe even a few dreams of tomorrow's trail ride. Snowmobiling sure is a great sport. And this is old Lonesome George saying, let's all keep it a safe one, too. <laughs> 